news. So, do not forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon to get latest news super fast. Saying that, ZTE, and especially its smartphone business, is currently in a rather tough spot, is kind of an understatement. With a ban from purchasing Qualcomm chips, already in effect, and rumors of a potential Android license revoke, it really does seem like, the company's entire handset business is in jeopardy. ZTE, however, seems to be rather undeterred by all the commotion, or at least positive enough, to continue its design work. A recent patent filing, with China's, State Intellectual Property Office SIPO, shows a new ZT handset, featuring a pair of screen notches. It comes hot on the heels, of yet another dual-notched ZT design, dubbed the Iceberg. So, it's safe to say the Chinese manufacturer, has really taken the controversial notch fad, to heart. Literally doubling down on the concept, might not be a bad idea either, since with every polarizing design trend, there's always the possibility, to hit niche gold status, with just the right kind of odd offer. Looking at the newer, of the two submitted sketches, there are some notable differences. Unlike the ZT Iceberg, with its wide top hair piece cut out, and a seemingly empty bottom one, the newer handset is a lot more reminiscent, of the essential PH1 phone. The top part of the display is only disturbed by the selfie camera module. While, on the opposite side, the notch houses what looks like a home button, fingerprint reader. We can definitely appreciate, some good old physical controls, on a modern handset and so will others. Design concepts, and patents, however, have a long way to go until becoming real viable products. Considering ZT's ongoing, and rather severe brushes with the US government, and the sanctions already in place, we can realistically expect, to see one of these new devices no early than mid-2019. If at all. What's your take on this? Do share your views via comment section below. And like always do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe this channel. I will be back shortly with another news. Till then have a great time ahead, bye bye.